adding Firebase to your iOS app is the first step before you start using any Firebase products such as authentication, cloud functions and so on. In this episode, I will be walking you through how to connect Firebase to your iOS app using Swift language with step-by-step -step instructions. The first step is to create an Xcode project. So go ahead and open up Xcode and choose File, New, Project. Then choose a single view application from the template pop-up window and click Next. Give it a project name of your choice. I'm going to call it Firebase iOS Demo. And make sure that the language is set to Swift. Leave the other options as they are. Click Next. At this stage, Xcode will ask you where to save the project. Go ahead and choose any location from your computer and click Create. The second step is going to be creating a Firebase project. Go to firebase.google.com website and log in with your Gmail account. As you can see, I am already logged in. So all I have to do is to click the go to console button at the top right to go to the Firebase projects dashboard. Then create a new project by clicking the add project button, which will ask you to enter the project name. I'm going to call it Firebase iOS demo. One thing worth pointing out here is this name does not have to be the same as the Xcode project name. Click continue. Uncheck the enable Google Analytics for this project as it is just for the demo purposes. And click create project. It will take a few seconds to complete. Once it's done, click continue to go into the project dashboard. The next step is to register iOS app to the Firebase project. If you look at the middle of this dashboard, there are four icons representing iOS, Android, Web, and Unity. Go ahead and click iOS. That will open up the Add Firebase to your iOS app page. Inside the Register App section, the iOS bundle ID is an important one. This is where I'm going to grab the bundle from the Xcode project and paste it in here. So hop over to the Xcode project, select the top level app from the project navigator at the top left, then choose general identity bundle identifier. Copy it, head back over to Firebase and paste it in here. App nickname and app store ID input fields are optional, so I'm going to leave them blank. Click register app. At this stage, Firebase created a plist file. I will need to add this to the Xcode project. So go ahead and download the Google service hyphen info dot plist file to your computer. In my case, it's in my downloads folder. Then move that plist file to the project navigator at the root level. When you let go, you will get a pop-up window and make sure that copy items if needed and add to targets are checked. Then click finish. At this stage, you can see the plist file added to the project navigator. Nice. The next step is to install Firebase SDK to the Xcode project using CocoaPods. CocoaPods is the dependency manager for Swift and Objective-C, which will help you to install third-party packages like Firebase. You can simply install CocoaPods if you haven't already by opening up the terminal window and run sudo gem install CocoaPods command. Once you have CocoaPods installed, the next step is to create a pod file, which is where we are going to add all the Firebase pods as we need them in our app. To create that, open up the terminal window and navigate to the location of the Xcore project folder. Then run pod init. This will create a pod file in your project folder in the finder window then open the file and add firebase pod at the bottom pod space inside the codes firebase slash core you can add more pods for desired firebase products in here such as auth and so on 
Here is the Firebase documentation page that has all the available pods for Firebase. I have the link in the description below as well. Save the pod file. Now time to install it. Switch back to the terminal and make sure that you are still in the Xcode project directory. Then run pod install. This will take a few seconds to complete the installation process. At this stage, CocoaPods created a few files inside the projects folder. The main one is XC workspace file. Moving forward, use this file to open up the Xcode project instead of using .xcode proj file. So I'm going to close the Xcode proj file and open up the project back by double clicking the XC workspace file. As you can see now we have a folder called pods and it has some files and folders in it including the Firebase pod that I have installed earlier. The final step would be initialize Firebase. So open up the app delegate swift file, import Firebase at the top, then inside the did finish launching with options method, run the configure method on the Firebase app. Firebase app dot configure opening closing parenthesis. Make sure that this is above the return statement. Run the app. And it works great. Now we have Firebase ready to use inside the Xcode project. If you enjoy watching this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.